says we're also blessed with holiness. This is the second half of this verse. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before him. You were not elected because you were holy and blameless or because God foresaw that you would be holy and blameless. You were elected in Christ so that he could make you holy and blameless. That's the good news of the gospel. He didn't see anything good in you, but he saw only sin, only death. But he decided to choose you and to change you and to make you holy and blameless. Friends, we're we're made holy and blameless in Christ. We're made holy because Jesus was made sin for our sin. We're made blameless in Christ because Jesus was blamed in our place. Jesus died the death on the cross that we should have died, that we deserve to die. He was blamed. He stood there condemned to free us. And so that his holiness and the fact that he is blameless and he never sinned. He took on our sinfulness and was blamed so that he could give us his righteousness and his holiness And so that God the Father would give us the blessing of holiness. So that's the big the big idea of holiness. And I want I want to help you grab this. I'm trying to explain all of these things because I know it's big theological ideas, it's big doctrine. I want to explain what it means, but I also want to help it apply to you and help you to grab it. Okay? Steve Brown, this Bible teacher, tells the story of when his daughter was in college. She got into a class and she was a freshman and it was a really hard class. I think it was an accounting class and she just couldn't keep up. She was stressed out and she had failed a few of her first exams or whatever. I don't know. I didn't go to college. A few of her first (laughs) tests and she's freaking out and she comes to her dad, Steve, and says, I want to quit the class. I can't handle it. I'm super stressed out. This teacher's really smart. I don't get it yet. So Steve says, "Okay." he said, let's go talk to your teacher then and tell her. And so they come in to the professor and they say, you know what? My daughter, she wants to drop the class because she just frankly thinks she cannot do it. And the teacher says, can I address your daughter? Sure. Said, what if I told you that no matter what happens the rest of this semester, when you got to the end, you would have an A? What if I told you that at the end, you've got an A, no matter what happens, you will get an A? Do you think that you could come to class and do the work and do all the studying and take all the tests? And the girl's like, yeah, I I think I could do that. And she said, "Okay, you've got an A. Now just come and do the work. And Steve goes on to tell just it kind of blew his daughter away. And he said she went on and the teacher later told him the professor later told him that she aced the class. I gave her an A, but she aced it in all of the work. Because when you know that in the end, you're going to be blameless, you're going to be holy, it gives you freedom in this life not to worry so much about, am I going to be holy? Am I going to be blameless? And then you just freak out, you buckle under the pressure, and you know you can't do it in and of yourself. But when you know you've got an A, in Christ you've got an A, we can live practically holy. We can live holy and we can strive to live blameless because we know in the end god the father looks at us because of the work of jesus and says holy and blameless the fact that he makes us holy and blameless in christ doesn't give us a license to go and sin and to go and live a life in rebellion to god it actually empowers us and it's a blessing given to us so that because positionally we are blameless and holy in christ we can then take that be strengthened by it and live practically holy every day for the glory of jesus you with me in christ you're blessed with holiness so live in it so walk in it